Tony, you take a look at this Saints team, and this is one that kind of teetered for a little bit. They had the lead, they lost the lead, they came back and won it in the end. But we saw them do this thing a little bit differently than we've been used to watching the Saints put up points. Yeah, well, I think it was more that vintage Drew Brees, that efficient passing, hitting those pinpoint accuracy. Uh, without Michael Thomas, without Emmanuel Sanders, uh, they had to come up with some type of game plan. And Sean Payton is one of the best in the business, best to ever do it. And with Drew pulling the trigger, uh, Marquez Callaway, a, a rookie, eight catches for 75 yards. Alvin Kamara, they leaned heavily on him. And this offense was able to pick up without Michael Thomas, one of the best receivers in the league, and, and obviously Emmanuel Sanders. And by the way, there is something there, too. Mike, uh, without Michael Thomas playing, I don't know about you guys, but it just seems weird that he was healthy before, got into the fight, got benched, and then comes back and says it's a hamstring. I still think there's something internally going on with the Saints, and hopefully they get it right because they're a pretty good football team. Yeah, they're going to have to get it right because moving forward down the road, they've got some difficult games versus the kind of teams that, you know, are physical teams, good teams, including one game with Tampa Bay. Yeah, they've got played Carolina again. Yep. They've got Atlanta. And you'll, Atlanta is no easy way. Mm -hmm. Atlanta plays you tough. On, they're heartbreakers at the end, as we saw today. And the Tampa Bay, of course, is, is what we saw last week, and I said on the air, no one could have beaten Tampa Bay last week. Nobody yeah, in the I NFL. Agree. If they bottle it up and keep it, they're going to be hard to beat all year. Yeah. You know, Michael, Cincinnati's rookie Joe Burrow is, is a star. He's a star. He's already Stud. a star. But look at the game from Baker Mayfield. He started 0 for 5 with yeah. a pick. And ended with five touchdowns, including the game winner right there at the end. He started 0 for 5 and ended up 22 for 28, 297 yards. Five touchdowns and that one interception that was early in the game. And I guess Baker really sat on that bench and thought to himself, I need to feel dangerous, as yeah. he loves to say. <laughs> because he came out in the second half and he wasn't. This was, this was without Odell Beckham Jr. But I got to say, Richard Higgins, he was a workhorse. He stepped up, had 116 yards on six catches and, and just that last Peoples Jones, that touchdown catch is just beautiful thing, a thing of beauty where Baker put that ball TB as you can attest. Yeah. He's the only one who can catch that. Yeah. You know, you don't want to read too much into it. Obviously we hope that Odell Beckham Jr. is okay. But do you wonder like when you get a guy like that who's used to getting the ball and he's out of the game, was that a factor in the way that Baker played That's a little bit? They ass, kind of spread it out a little right bit. There. Well I mm. I played with, I played with, with, with two Hall of Fame wide receivers that competed against one another, but never with me. Never with me. Never for yeah. my attention. And I appreciated them because it took all the pressure off of me. I could read the coverages and go, say, Lynn Swan caught 10 balls this week because <laughs> coverage dictated it. Then Stallworth the next week. Sometimes when you get a, a receiver in, like a Nobel Beckham Jr., a guy that wants the ball and talks and verbal about it, that's unsettling. Maybe Baker Mayfield likes it, but I know as a quarterback, I wouldn't like it. And it's amazing, all of a sudden, he's not in there. And also, don't forget, the defense of Cincinnati matched up very well with what they were doing offensively. But Beckham, Beckham I got to say, to his defense, has not been vocal about give me the ball, give me the ball. He's actually yeah. they've commended the way he's gone in and how he just wanted to be a teammate and win games. So I don't want to, you know, beat the kid up. Yeah, exactly. Haven't done. And that's it may not even be a factor, but it's one of those things you start yeah. wondering, you know, whether or not Were you it wondering is. that? You personally? I was. Yeah, you I was. Were. Really? I, I, it, thoughts just popped in my head. This little bubble right over here. We talk about the five total touchdowns, Howie, by uh, Tom Brady. Looks like they're starting to hit their stride there with the Bucks. Yeah, I, I think they're hitting their stride. I, I think Tom's hitting his stride in, in terms of comfort level with the offense and also the pieces that he has around him. And, and now they're adding Antonio Brown. Uh, I, I think we're talking about Brown, Godwin, Gronk. Gronk looks like he's hitting his stride. So this offense is definitively hitting his stride. That front seven on defense is pretty darn good. Yeah, well, I, I tell you what, it's it's watch out now because yeah. uh, they can run the ball. They have two star running yep. backs. They have uh, a plethora of talent at the at the wide receiver position. And uh, I was I was making pancakes this weekend, Howie, <laughs> Kurt. And uh, you put all the ingredients in. And it, you don't just pour it out right in after you mix it all up. It says to let it sit for a while and let them all mix together, let them get to know each other. And I feel like that's what's happening now. We're getting to that see, point see, in the with season Terry, with where Terry, it's coming together. With Terry, it's farm animals. With yeah. you, it's food. <laughs> well, <laughs> it always, always. And I like how your yeast and flour get to know each other. That's <laughs> to know each other. No, nice it's, a great, it's, a great, it's actually a great analogy because that was the big question down there. Mm -hmm. 
what is this offense going to look like, you know, under Bruce Arians with Tom Brady? Tom Brady definitively ran the same offense for or variations of it for 19 years. Yeah. And, and now you're talking about coming down to Bruce where Bruce is deep, 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 and you're seeing the routes now that Tom likes to, Tom run, likes to run and Gronk likes to run, and, and you can see the comfort level. And he made throws today that were – People say he's done or he's washed up or he's on the other side of it. I, I don't get it. Yeah. And you what about the defensive side of the ball, too, yeah. as well? Devin White, Levante David, you yeah, talked yeah. about those guys' sideline, the sideline. Thumper. It's a, they are a complete, they're the most complete football team in the NFL right now, Barney. Yeah, I agree. Even better than Pittsburgh? More complete? I, well, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I do.